Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna do another DIY video. I found some DIY videos on TikTok and I'm so excited to share them with you. Some are a bit easier, some are a bit harder. Maybe you're looking for something to do when you're bored or maybe you'd like to decorate your room with something that you made yourself. I just have a mix of everything, so let's just get started. By the way, everything will be linked in the description so you can check it out as well on TikTok. This is the first one. It kind of seems complicated, but I don't really think it is. She's gonna make a clout lamp and she doesn't use a lot. She basically uses a jar, double-sided tape, and she uses those cotton thingies. I don't know the exact name for it. And of course, lights. I really, really liked it. Personally, I would use a bit more lights just so that it would have a little bit more effect. And you could even like have colored lights or something like that, maybe pink ones. I think that would turn out so incredibly cool. But I just love this idea. It's very good for home decor. I just really liked it and I thought it was really smart. Then the next one is really cool. I love it when people like try to recreate something that they saw online with just some simple cheap things. This one's also very smart and actually very cool. I would like to try this as well. I have never even seen that before. I've seen the bubble candles, but not bubble coasters. I really love this and I think it looks really good. Plus it's good as home decor, again, for on your coffee table, for on your nightstand, on your desk, whatever. Then this next one is kind of a school DIY, but we're kind of heading towards the end of the school year, but maybe you can keep it in mind for when you're starting your new year. Basically she makes her own notebook. Well, she doesn't really make it. She makes the cover of the notebook herself and it seems kind of complicated in some way but i think you just need the right equipment i really don't think it's that hard and you just basically get to make whatever notebook you like i really like the one she's making as well and she just has like a clear notebook and she just puts it over it and it looks like an actual real notebook as if that was the actual cover and i think especially from afar you won't even notice that it's not real i just thought this was so smart you can just buy the cheapest notebooks you can find for your new school year and you can turn them into whatever you like again it turns out really great it actually looks very good this next one kind of simple not everyone's style but i thought this was so cool i love jewelry making and i make jewelry myself I don't really make jewelry like this, but I just really liked it. And it's really, really easy. Maybe you'd just like to start out with DIYs. This is a good start, especially if you wanna try making jewelry. If you just get some beads and stuff, you're good to go. You don't need a lot for this. Then this is from the same girl. She makes a lot of videos like this. This isn't really a DIY per se. It's a summer bucket list. Summer is here, is it already summer? This month is gonna be summer. So summer vacation is coming and COVID is not that big of a problem anymore. So we. Can can do a lot more things than we could the last two years. I thought this was just a great idea to do, especially if you're bored. You can just make a list of everything you want to do this summer because we can basically do everything again, which is really, really nice. I thought this was a great idea. This next one, a bit more complicated. I don't know exactly how she does this, but maybe you have some experience with this. This turns out so incredibly cool. It's actually like a Mother's Day DIY, but of course it doesn't have to be. You can do this in many different ways. I just love love it especially how she just makes the flower thing i have no idea how maybe she explains it in a different video exactly but i think this looks so good and if i knew how i would love to try <laughs> isn't this so cool i just really love this one the next one is again kind of simple it's really handy especially if you just don't really have a lot of money you can just easily do this at home you wouldn't have to spend your money on bookmarks because i think a lot of people just have paper in their home even if it's used paper and the back is blank you can easily still use it which is also recycling which is good for the planet i just really like this especially if you read a lot of books and you don't have enough bookmarks you know this is a great solution this next one is probably my favorite i don't know why exactly it's just first of all so satisfying to look at and it seems like so much fun to do and it's actually pretty simple you just basically need some cute colors and you need a brush and if you need some wall decoration this is a great idea and i really 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 want to do this it seems so relaxing in some way i really like to try this and this next one is kind of simple it's kind of obvious in some way i don't think a lot of people think of doing this when you need posters for your room and you don't really feel like buying them you can just buy a little bit more expensive paper maybe picture paper stuff if you have a printer this is so easy you can just get some cute pictures from pinterest or something like that you can just print them out this is great especially if you don't really have the money to buy a set like i did this is a cheaper way of doing it and you wouldn't even need very expensive 
good paper you can just buy simple print paper but if your printer works okay or maybe you have access to a printer somewhere this is a great idea if you need some wall decoration. This next one, also very simple, and you can use this in many different ways. You can be very creative with this. She does it in a very simple way, but I really liked it. And again, you can be so creative with this. And I thought you can maybe even use it as wall decoration or decoration for something else. You can go so many ways with this, but I just love the flowers and it looks really good. This next one, I actually never really thought of doing, but basically she just decorates her wallet. I don't know, I never really thought of doing this, like making your wallet aesthetic and cute it's kind of smart actually especially her wallet she just has a clear wallet so it's so cool i just really like it then the next one is kind of a bracelet i think i think this looks so cool i'm not very handy with this kind of stuff i just really like the look of it like how do you even think of something like this i have no idea i'm sure that there are many more fun designs like this on tiktok so if you think this seems fun then i'm sure you could be very busy with this you could maybe even sell it and everything i think this is a very cool idea then i also have a compilation thingy she just shows a few things you can try out of course the cds i've mentioned before i have never seen the sunglasses like that before like actually like customizing your sunglasses also i like your charger block don't know if i've ever shared that in a video but i also think it's really fun and of course the stones it seems just like a fun activity to do when you're bored with friends you can just paint stones because why not then i have to include body scrub I can't go out. I had to include a body scrap because why not? It seems so like strawberry watermelon-ish and I really like it. <laughs> I think she uses honey coconut oil, lotion, shower gel. Is that it? Sugar scraps are very easy to make. I would recommend you to get more fine sugar. I made two in a video and my sugar was kind of like big and chunky. <laughs> it was okay, but I prefer it if it was a bit more like fine and a little bit smaller. But yeah, I just had to include it. Then this next one, I just had to include. I've been very into the cottagecore aesthetic so this really fits into that <laughs> she just basically makes a flower crown first of all it's just really fun to do when you're bored and you're with friends you can just go out when the weather's nice make a flower crown and it's also really cute for pictures is it not i just think it looks incredible i just love this i love this so much this next one kind of a room decor ish thing this is basically a tutorial about how she hangs up her necklaces like that which i think looks pretty good well, she explains it in a video. She talks with it, but she just creates something behind the edge so she can hang up her necklaces and I thought it was very smart and maybe you kind of needed this and maybe you needed a place to put your necklaces. Well, this is a good idea. Then I have another compilation. Let's go through this slowly. Paint on Uno cards. I've never really seen this one before until now, but I thought this was actually pretty fun. Then the DIY tote bags. I made one before and it was so much fun. I I'd love to do it again if I'd have the time maybe in a video who knows learn how to crochet I don't know how you pronounce that actually this is cool especially if you just don't know what to do and DIY necklace yes I tried that out in a video as well I loved it I know sell my own jewelry please check out the link in the description please thank you very much and clay art of course clay art is always a great option it's so fun to play around with clay pay your phone cases yes that's kind of why I wanted to include this one it seems like so much fun to me if you just get a clear phone case, you can just create whatever you want and it also saves up a lot of money. Also, paint your jeans pockets. I really love this idea as well. I think it's so cool. You can do it in so many ways. You can make so many different designs. This last one is definitely the hardest of all, but also one of the best ones, I think. I would never be able to do this. Maybe if I had help from someone who did do this before, but I could never do this on my own, I think. I don't know exactly what she uses, but it turns out so incredibly cool. So if you're one of the more creative people and you're looking for some kind of big project this is a very good idea that was it for this video i had so much fun again it's been a while since i've done one of these videos but i hope you liked it if you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to become a part of the family check out my other diy videos and my diy playlist i've made diys myself as well which are also very fun videos go check that out and i hope i will see you in my next video